Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you guys a couple of super useful algorithms that you need to know. So let's hop right into it. Okay, so the very first one, as you can see, is this change size by one. So it says change size by 100 minus size divided by five. So if we go ahead and put this in a win green flag click like so, now this is going to be forever running. So basically what this is doing is it's forever setting the size to 100%. But not only that, it's going to make it super smooth. So if we go ahead and go into looks and pull out a change size by and as you can see if we click on that it makes the cat bigger but this loop will forever make it go to a hundred size but it doesn't instantaneously do it so if we change the size by like 25 as you can see it smooths in to 100% out in the size menu it starts fast and then starts slowing down until it's perfectly 100 you may be wondering what these two values do this 100 and then this divided by so this 100 is pretty simple it's just the size that this cat is going to go to so if we set this to 150, as you can see, it's going to go until it grows to the size 150. Say if we set this to 50, as you can see, it's going to go smoothly until 50. Now this divided by is just the smoothness that it does that. So if we set this to a really big number and then do like the set side to 150, as you can see, look how slow and smooth it is. So the higher this number, the more smooth it's going to be. For this example, I do have it on a size by, but you can use this for lots of other things too. For instance, let's try a turn 15 degrees block. All we need to do is put this in here and move this down. Change the size to direction. Now it's going to do that for direction. So these two values do the same exact thing. This is the direction it's going to point at. So let's do 90 so it's perfectly to the right. And then this divided by is how fast it does it. But now if we go ahead and point in direction negative 135, as you can see, it's going to perfectly smooth in back to 90 no matter what direction we do. You can really see how this algorithm would be super helpful for polishing off games. Okay, moving on to the next one, we have this longer one. So this one basically just makes the cat go to your mouse position. Now you may say like, wait a minute, there's already a block for that. All you need to do is go into motion and do go to random position and change this to mouse pointer. And that is correct. But if we go ahead and click on this, as you can see, it just instantly goes to the mouse pointer. It's not really that smooth. So instead, if we go ahead and put our other loop in there, look at this. Look how nice and smooth that is, eases into the mouse pointer away. Okay, so for this algorithm, there's only one option you can change, but that is okay because this stuff just makes it go to the mouse pointer. This right here is the same as the previous algorithm. It just makes it how fast or smooth it does it. So once again, the higher the number, the smoother it is. This is for the X position and the this one's for the Y. So if we change that to 25 and make this go, as you can see, it's super slow and smooth. If we go ahead and do it to four or something like that, it's more snappy and quick. It's still smooth though. And then Last but not least is a super useful one for like buttons or UI things. It is just a algorithm that makes your sprite tilt back and forth and back and forth. So let's go ahead and click on this. And as you can see, look at that. Look how nice and smooth that it just perfectly tilts and eases in and then eases out right to left and right to left. So once again, all of these values change different things. This plus 90 at the end, all this does is make it to where it points in 90 degrees. So if we were to do like plus 180, as you can see now it's pointing down so that is just what direction it's pointing in then this times 12 is how much it tilts so if we do like 50 so now as you can see it's tilting super far then this change speed by 6 is actually how fast it does it so if we do 25 as you can see now boom look at the cat it's like rawr, rawr, rawr. okay so now I'm going to give you a quick example of how you could use some of these algorithms as you can see I've thrown together a super quick button here so I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this first one and put this in an if else now I'm going to do touching mouse pointer and if it is then we're going to change size by all of this but we're going to do divided by five and do this by 125 because I want it to when it touches a mouse pointer to grow a little bit then else we're going to change size by 100. So already this is a very good button as you can see but just maybe if you want to add a little bit of motion what you could do is use this turning script and put this in the very bottom and as you can see here already this is just kind of going back and forth and it just makes me you want to hover over it so bad and of course you can tweak all these values and make it go faster or slower there you go those are some super 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 helpful algorithms that i think you need to know to help you polish off your games and just have a better time when programming thank you all so much for watching i do hope you enjoyed this video or just learned something and if you did then make sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing anyways this has been owen and i am out